What we're going to do today is we're going to assemble the lower gear case assembly in piece by piece so you can see exactly how it works. We're not going to actually put it in the housing because if I do that then everything's blind it's hard to see. So I'm going to assemble the whole thing outside of the housing so you can see exactly how it goes and that way when you're working in the blind you'll know exactly how it's supposed to be. Keep watching. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to put the detent spring in which is goes through the center of the shaft here. Then we're going to put the detent ball on this side, another detent ball on this side. And what this does on this um, on this clutch dog is it's tapered and then the center of it has got a uh, it's got a taper and then the center has got a, a, a line cut around it so as you push it this way it clicks into place and that lets you know you're in the neutral position. So when you come off the, you go this way and you know if the forward gear was on here it's got these cutouts in there and when you hear a grinding that's that rake and against that and when you're trying to put that in. And then you got your reverse gear goes on this side. Okay. And then you know your pinion gear will spin both these at the same time. Like you know when the motor's turning and then that clutch dog just pops one way or the other and engages the gear that you're going. So let's go in, on further. Next we have this bearing housing and uh, there's a bearing that goes in there on this side and also a bearing in the center and two seals on this side. One seal faces each way, one to keep the oil in, the other would keep the water out. And then we're going to slide that on. That's going to slide right up over the reverse gear. Just like that. And that's going to hold that all in place. Then you're going to have your uh, bearing and the, and the bearing cup or race, whatever you're going to call it. Is this, the race is in the, in the lower unit. So, but anyhow, there's, we got that for, so far. And then off, after that, you're going to have your uh, your thrust bearing goes on up here. Your thrust bearing goes on up here. Then your uh, propeller. Then you're going to put on your uh, thrust washer on the outside. And you're going to put the nut on. So. Then after that, we got the uh, we got the, this uh, this cradle goes in from the bottom like this. Then the uh, shift lever and and the yoke assembly goes right in here, and it clips right on to that into that cradle. So this here is going to go right onto the cradle snap on. I shouldn't have put the bearing on first. Snap on. The net's going to roll right around like that. And then you have got the uh, shifter lever and the yoke assembly on there. This hole right here is the same hole that you see on the lower unit that's right by your drain plug that goes in there which ties in the yoke assembly to the bottom. And that goes in there with, with this kind of, it's kind of a, it's a pin with a sleeve on it that slides right in here, like so. And that's what holds that. And like I said, that's, that's, that is right here. You got your drain and you got your, right there is where it goes in and that holds all that. And then we'll, there we go. There we got that on. So 
Then after that, you've got your uh, your pinion gear. You got your lower thrust washer goes on. You got your bearing goes on. Your upper thrust washer, and that goes into the top of this case like that. So then after that, then in here, this is the shift rod would slide down through the case. The way this works, this shaft is got, this turns the uh, the water pump, which is on the top of the uh, which is on top of the lower housing right here. But so and then that shaft sticks in like that. And as the engine spins this shaft, it turns the water pump, which in turn pumps water up the tube and into the bottom of the motor. And as it turns, and you can see the gears turn. And the gears is always turning when the engine is running. And when you pull, when you push down on the gear shift, which in turn is when you, the way it's set up in there is when you push down on it, it pushes it forward into the reverse gear. And when you pull up on the shaft, it, it puts it into the forward gear. So when you're in the boat, you turn your shifter this way towards the forward position. It actually pulls the shaft to the forward gear right here. And that's how it works. If you like the content and you like to help support my videos, use the links below. I get a small commission from that which helps bring future videos. As always, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always stay safe on the water. Take care. Then the propeller, I mean the gears would turn. Of course, let's knock it down.